Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play EU4, Imperial Italy. We are currently in a giant war. We have revoked the Privilegia over here, which means everyone in the HRE is our vassal, except for Austria, who said no, so we are kicking their ass. Now, unfortunately, Austria is allied to England and the Ottomans, which is a bit scary, but we, we rolled through Austria just fine. We're now rolling through the Ottomans. The thing is, with everyone being our vassal, we have a massive army at our disposal. First of all, we personally have a lot of force limit, but then all our vassals are there too, so that adds up pretty fast. All right, it's a proper fort over here, which needs... Um, oh, we have the full cannon bonus. Excellent. And there we're just going to make a little pit stop, which is fine. Here we got the full cannon bonus. I don't know what to do with all these cannons. Why can't I hold all these cannons? Um, I could move all the way to this coast. It's a little risky, though. Tell you what, let me move up over here. We'll regroup, and then we'll figure out what to do next. That was not a fort province, so it's fine. We're moving some people into this place. I can reach there, huh? You know, we'll grab this province along the way. We did win, like, a major battle against the Ottomans already. The Ottomans and England. Thrash them pretty good. They will almost certainly reload and come at us again. Uh, but they don't have... Well, actually, they do have a good number of manpower. Never mind. We have more, of course, with especially when you consider all of our vassals as well. Um, is all of... No, this is another Austrian province there. That's Ulm. And then this. So two more Austrian provinces left to fall. Oh, because we've got Carnton. And we've got that as well. Jeez. Got to move these troops a lot faster. Did I, did I successfully move you? No? Anyway, move to here. We'll, we'll carpet siege the Ottomans. Try to grab as much as possible. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be annexing them. I don't know if we're going to be forcing them to release provinces. Um, overextension is always a limit. And we're probably going to eat Austria. Although, it'd be interesting. Is there any way we can uh, force them to become vassalized? Is there like a... No. They're too big for that. Not much too big. But too big. We could force them to release nations, uh, but I don't think the nations will be part of the HRE because um, because Austria is not, and their provinces are not HRE territory anymore. Maros, okay. So you over here, you get your full cannon bonus. Actually, you've got too many cannons. You need only ten. There you go. Plus, there's a, there's a whole other army there. But we're going to do this. Move to a coastal fort. Which will take a little bit longer since we're not going to be able to siege them, or blockade them, rather. Um, because the Ottoman navy is all galleys. Which I don't think we can defeat. So I'm not going to risk it. Uh, I could probably fire this admiral. Because I think I'm... Yeah, too many military leaders. Ooh, that siege went... Felt very fast. Oh, okay, the giant... Giant Ottoman army is back. Um, so, we need to get everyone to reinforce over here. Most likely we will be fine. Um, we're going to lift all these sieges. Yeah. Literally, everyone comes here. Then we'll reorganize you afterwards. Everyone get in here. Full reinforcements. Uh, oh, you're not going there. You're going here. Right, the battle did trigger. Uh, we have the crossing penalty. Will they reinforce in time? No. Are they still coming? Yes, because they're locked. Therefore, they'll get the crossing penalty, or whatever terrain. Woods. And we'll be waiting for them. Sweet. Oh, they actually have a crossing penalty as well. They've got a minus two going on. 4-2 leader is pretty good. Fire is pretty good at this point. But hey, we've got a 6-3. Thank you, um, Hessa, for having a great, great leader. Norfolk now controls England. Or England now controls Norfolk. Holland is dropping a lot of troops over there, which is cool. Uh, no, I'm going to save my admin points for a bunch of coring, I think. Throw more troops in here. we got a massive advantage on our side. In terms of numbers, plus the minus two on their side, plus we have the better leader. They do have... Oh, no, actually, they don't have higher discipline and um, and tactics. Thank you, Hissa, again. Imperialism against someone, all right. Good, sure, fine. 
May as well throw more of our people in there. Sure, good, fine. I mean, we are losing a good number of people. Oh, I forgot uh, one of the things I was going to do, because I've been doing some consolidates, is I was going to rebuild some infantry numbers over here. Let's get uh, something like 20. Blah, blah, blah. Save, and 20 infantry built up on the side over there. Because we're going to do a little bit more consolidating here. Because it's faster, especially in enemy territory, because you really, really don't reinforce very quickly at all. Bam. Should we make a run for Constantinople? I think the answer is yes. Uh, maybe I won't do another consolidate right now, actually, because we don't have uh, much. Constantinople will probably require 25 cannons. And we'll give them, actually, a decent number of frontline troops. Something like that. And a leader, since we're in friendly territory. Because we can reach Constantinople. Lovely. Uh, you are not force marching, which is good. You still are. We're going to remove that. And I'm going to grab half of you and send you over there. And the other half here, which we can assign another leader to. Um, I'm looking for another fort. You got that. Can't reach down there because those forts, but they're being sieged. There is a fort there. What? That's the path we're going to take? Really? Unless we want to help out here. Or just stand around and block these guys. Where are you going? Oh, you're going that way. Oh, let's just go crap one of these little provinces first and see what happens. We'll deal with the rest after. Yeah, getting more infantry, because clearly we need some of that. Oh, there's quite a few troops buzzing around in here that are fully healthy. So we don't want to separate our, our army too much. Let's build ships! Get our ships together. So we're going to lose a little battle over there. Ooh, costly embargo against Denmark. Okay. Really? So I only have... Yeah, the two. And I can't assign a new one while at war. Okay, won that little skirmish there. Still heading towards Constantinople. Won a little skirmish there. That doesn't matter. And we won't be able to get these guys in time. Let's do this. Just spread our people around, try to bring down some of the attrition. Oh, 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 oh. We should get reinforced pretty heavily. I suspect we'll be fine. We're being reinforced, aren't we? I mean, I've got some troops that can move in pretty easily. There we go. Good. Okay, so yes, we are fine. Might have taken a little bit more damage than we intended, but that's all right. Uh, split you. Go there. Split you again. Send some dudes there. Okay. Good, good, good. War score's only 19%. But that's because of how much territory belongs to everyone else over here. So, you have no leader. All right, we can put you there. Uh, you're not the greatest composition, but you will do. And we're just going to have you stand around here so that we can reinforce in a few different angles. Actually, not being attritioned at all, so you can stand there for a while. And that's good. That's a bit of a comp. You might be getting stomped over there. Ulm, you guys might be trying to bypass over here, which is a fort. We'll definitely want to defend that. Do you have full siege bonus going on? You don't, actually. Let me uh, send you some extra artillery, at the very least. Um, let me send it a safer route, that way. Okay, and we are in Constantinople. Now, we can't blockade them at all. But we actually are making some decent progress. Do you not have an actual fort here? You don't have a real fort in Constantinople? I mean, I, I realize you get a free fort, but at this point, like, that's... All it does is block movement for, like, a minute. And then it's gone. Of course, I'm saying that. I probably don't have a real fort in Rome. No, I do, actually. We actually might want to uh, upgrade our fort all the way. Protector, well, no, we're we're dominating. We don't have to worry about stuff. Unless there's a massive uprising with all of my vassals, which we're pretty good right now. Bohemia is the one with the highest rebellion risk. Let's go ahead and um, not royal marry you, because that will take up an extra relationship slot. But we've got some extra diplomats, so let's go and um, work these guys. Silesia. We may as well get the full relationship bonus with a handful of people. And Haynut. Mm-hmm. And of the votes, no, not that, this one here, 
Who would be for and against? Yeah, everyone's currently for the next reform level, which is great. All I got to do is get enough points, which we can do pretty easily by adding more provinces to the HRE. Where are you going to go? Over here? You're going to get crushed, buddy. i wait until you're locked in and we'll reinforce as well. There you go. Just throw down a little bit of that. Plus, the other vassals will reinforce as well. You've finished that, which is great. Um, I think I'm going to put some extra forces here because we can keep the Ottomans pinned in their southern parts. Sounds dirty. <laughs> All right, a bit of a reinforcement. They still have a crossing, which is good. So yeah, if I keep some troops here, this is a bit of a derp comp. But if they cross, and they are actually going to cross, they'll get a minus two, or will there? They've got a maneuver of just one and one. And I've got at least a maneuver point here, so that's going to go. Um... And detach. Can I not? Oh, are we? Oh, we assaulted. Ah, I wasn't a siege leader, and siege leader called for an assault. Probably should have force marched over here to make sure we get there in time. But it looks like we're gonna be fine. Uh, straight crossings are very slow, and we'll get reinforcements. And they do have their minus two from the large crossing penalty. That's the nice thing about this position. We still need a few reinforcements, but. We should come out way on top, especially as other people come in with their better leaders. Um, I can't get the next military tech yet. It would be really nice to get. I will definitely go and invest in that. We have so much money. So much money. I could work on uh, building upgrades right now. I think I will, actually. Sure, why not? In particular, can I get more trade? Um, okay, I don't have to worry about trade... I got 100% of the Venetian trade node, and I'm pretty damn good in uh, Genoa as well. So, like, at this point, I don't know what we can build. I guess um, we don't need more force limit. More manpower is always good. Because you want your manpower to recharge faster. Some of these have massive modifiers as well. There. Okay. Money well spent. We'll probably spend some more. Okay. Uh, group, split, go there. Again, I'm going to keep control. I'm going to make sure I've got troops in both these provinces. If they want to attack, they're going to have to take a minus two a straight crossing. Actually, I should deal with this too. Okay. Let me, let me stay in that position. We'll let one of my allies take care of that. Or maybe these guys here can come down. Um, it's not a complete dirt composition. And we do have some extra infantry. I'm going to split you in half. I'm going to send one of you there. And one of you over there. And I think we'll go ahead and grab another 20 infantry template. And do that. I probably don't need to do any more consolidates. Ooh. Okay, Angela Kaufman. So I can get an artist. I don't need an artist. Artist is what? Bonus prestige? No, I'm good on prestige. Nice that it's 50% cheaper. Um, but I like power points. So we're going to go for that. Excellent. When the game presents me with PowerPoints, I can't say no. Uh, over here, we're still overkilling this considerably. We only need 20 artillery over here. So let's go ahead and... Boom, boom, boom. And... Really? I can't reach any of these places? There. I can help out on that siege. They're doing pretty good, but I suspect they don't have the full cannon bonus. So we'll help out with that, and then we can go for this fort here. Got some troops kicking around there. We can't go there because... Oh, uh, no, we actually can reach here, because we, we can bypass the straight crossing. And for now, I want to leave my troops here, although other people are hanging around here, which is a bit annoying. Uh, oh, you can move there. Please and thank you. All right, Ottomans. Oh, we don't have a dude because we're busy. That's okay. I don't, I don't actually want to negotiate peace yet anyway. That was that siege. Wonderful. We'll just send extra cannons there. It'll definitely be overkill, but that's okay. 13 colonies entered military alliance with English Columbia. Okay. That's... Wait. One of those must be independent, though. One or more. Or can colonies ally with each other? Maybe that's the case. Got the siege done over here. Great. Yes, let's definitely go for that fort there. Still so much Ottoman territory. Like, we are just just skimming the edge of the Ottomans. They have all the things. Anyway, we're just going to be passive around here for now, and I'm okay with that. 
Um, ooh. Ooh, tradition is good, and that's a lot of military power. I also like stability. Stability is worth about, like, one admin. Ooh, that is tough decision to make. You know what? We don't actually have much in the way of tradition, either way. Um, I think I'm going to take this one. And actually, that might put us in a position to get the next military tech. So, yeah, that was an excellent, excellent one. Cool. And we may as well go ahead and grab the unit upgrades. Because we're not about to fight, so we may as well take, um... What do we want? White coats. And prove that we never get touched in combat. And I don't know. Ulan? Reformed Latin. There, we're going to go for that. And we do have, um... Whoops. Let's say we've got the best... Yeah, we've got that. We're good. Um, so that is going to reset our morale in our armies, but we are safe to do that right now, which is good. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to hold off on this a little bit longer because we're going to need the points to negotiate the peace and core things. Although we're going to have a lot of points in both before that happens. Sardinia, what's our relationship? Currently capped, which is good. Um, Poland declares war on Lithuania for imperialism. There's not much Lithuania left. So we're going to finish everything here. Oh, uh, and this is going to take, yeah, just seconds to finish. Actually, we might be able to sneak in right there. And I don't know. Maybe there too? I doubt it. Almost certainly the move someone into the Aegean. But if we can sneak in there right now, let's do it. We might not be able to get our dudes off. Here, let's detach minimal amount of stuff. Oh, now we can't get our dudes off. And you're not going to be able to move for now. But we might be able to sneak across there with the cavalry. They move fast. Alright, so we're going to move some people over here, and we're going to prepare to do the aggressive straight crossing. Although, they've got ships there. Yeah, if we never get rid of these ships, we're never going to be able to get down there. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, that's a nice suicide. We might just have to accept what we've got. I mean, we've got their capital. They're, um... Wow, they're still at medium. But their war exhaustion will start to crank up pretty damn fast. Oh, we got some people out. We still haven't been able to move in over here. There we go. While they're fighting a little skirmish. And then you're going to move back to the Aegean. So we probably won't be able to finish that. Huh. Alright, so... Well, we've got all this money. Hold on. We can do a lot of upgrades. Split you in half. Start doing some upgrades here. Because we might be doing a fight. Should I... I wonder if I should just build some of these... Um, some of these Archipelago frigates. They're a lot cheaper than the actual heavies. Do we need the heavies? Well, maybe for a war against England. But that's about it. Maybe potentially something out against Spain, although again, a lot of it might be internal. Maybe. Hmm. You know what? Let's do it. Build 20 galleys. Whoops. Save. Galleys. Assemble over there. Try not to die along the way. Let me have to babysit you a bit. If we can get that, we might be able to do okay. Oh, um, all right. How'd they get over there? They have transports? They do have a bunch of transports in this, don't they? Did it, did it, did it, did it, 33. Although, that's not where all those guys came from. Um, let's go ahead and move you out of here, and then you'll move back over there afterwards. Shite! Uh, we might get stomped there, and that will be particularly bad. Yes, renew war taxes. Okay, we got our reinforcements in time. Yeah, oh, they, they do have the big river crossing. Okay, so they did cut across here. Still have a very derp configuration. Need those reinforcements to kick in. Okay, that siege is done. Um, we're going to grab one of you there. One of you there. And then the rest of you. Make your way down to Constantinople. You'll not get to this war before it ends. We'll get a few more reinforcements in here, and I think we'll be able to hold out. We're going to be just fine. Hmm. 
and you're gonna just buzz back and forth between these two. Hopefully we will be okay with our galleys and not get everything sunk. Oh, right, we've got some more infantry coming. Good. So yeah, we won't actually be able to do this crossing though. Are you moving? Can you not move? You can go there. Oh, I can't walk through hungry anymore. Really hungry. Come on. Diplomat, come home. There we go. Ask for military access. Go, go. And there it is. Okay, you being there is a bit annoying. We're going to have to really pay attention to when those ships are going to start popping. All right, listen. How are we doing? We've got a 31% war score against you. It's not as much as we'd like. And I think your enthusiasm is still relatively high. The length of war still pr is pretty high. Is there anyone else we can start, like... Not really. And we can't really go after England. Although, Holland is making an attempt at it. That would be very nice. Oh, I got some troops over here, too. Actually, oh, Christ. I have huge armies over here. <laughs> Which I didn't need. We could start a war against France at the same time. That would be funny. Yeah, multiple wars, multiple wars. I'm kind of tempted, but the problem is I won't have the points to um, to get everything going. Also, we might be able to like form the HRE. And being in another war might slow us down. I'm not sure. You know what? Actually, let's peace out with the Ottomans. We don't need to do maximum damage against them. What do we want to get from them? We can get some coastal provinces. There's something to be said about that. We could actually just take Constantinople. No, not willing to do that. You can do this, though. And what's nice about this is if we do do a war declaration, we might be able to sneak uh, some troops across. On the other hand, it'll be hard to defend. I also talked about forcing them to release a bunch of nations. Which is very cheap for me to do. Doesn't make us any more powerful. Now, they're not really willing to give up a whole lot. So I'd probably just rather grabbing some more stuff along this coast here. Oh, also Humiliate. Actually, the Humiliate might be the highest priority. We'll get actually a fair amount of power projection from just winning this. Okay, we'll wait a little bit longer. There's still all the um, length of war, and right now their enthusiasm is quite high. You guys wait there. Actually, send some extra infantry there, because they were a bit light. And here we're going to pull some of the cannons out, try to knock down some of the attrition going on. I'm actually really tempted to start another war. Really tempting. Really super tempting. Since nothing is happening here. Hungary left the coalition. Oh, can I, um... Recently sent a diplomat. Is there anything I can do to go to war with you, actually? We have military access, but we do have imperialism. So, if I cancel military access... That's what we're going to do. War against Hungary. Although, wait. Who are you allied with? Russia. Would Russia join in on your side? If so, then I don't think we want to do that. I mean, Russia might be manageable. And there's still another war against... Oh. Yeah, that's not really much of a war. Did you? Well, we'll take a look. We'll take a look if Russia would join in. Most likely they would. We're getting a bunch of attrition here for no good reason. But I'm lazy, so it's going to happen. And yeah, keep our troops sort of positioned here. You actually wait around here. And oh, how come I can still walk through Hungary? Didn't I just cancel military access? You must have granted it to someone else. Da 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 da. Why does it scroll down every time? Okay. Yeah, Russia would jump in. That's no good. France? With imperialism? La Plata, Mexico, that doesn't matter. Um, there's some overseas stuff, and we might be... The overseas stuff might have a hard time. But France by itself? They're going to get completely destroyed.
We're gonna be so overextended from everything. Fuck it, it's fine. <laughs> Let's do it! Let's go to Paris, boys. We've been there once before. Da 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 ba 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 ba. Of course, as soon as we piece out the Ottomans, Austria will fall pretty heavy. I mean, yeah, I know England is still in this, but they're not that in this. Defender of the Faith. You know what? Let's do it. It's fine. <laughs> so, um, these guys don't have to be here either. Although, maybe I'll leave them here. Because there's more of a chance that I still have to fight some Ottomans and English people down here than there's a chance that France is going to be a problem. Oh, we're starting to lose all our little dudes. I'm going to do the thing where I start watching them spawn like that. And just sort of force them to go somewhere else. Nope, just dock again. Nope. I think I have to specifically send you somewhere else. Otherwise, you'll keep trying to go places, which is a little bit annoying. Are you moving? Yes, everyone's moving over there. How come I can't group you? There we go. Battle of Paris. Does France even have any troops? Okay, how many cannons do I need here? 25, which is exactly what I've got. Separate out the cannons, grab the rest of you, split you in half, and go there. Go to Barry. Go down here. Uh, go down to here, actually. Get those forts. The, the war against France is not going to last very long. It's too bad we can't go to the rest of the Ottomans. Well, that's all right. Uh, you, you're running away. Hopefully fast enough. Good. You, dock there. Excellent. We'll keep babysitting you guys. Getting repaired. Okay. Everyone's still moving up this way. Do one of those. Paris. Oh, we could put a siege leader over here, but that's okay. All right. Yep, yeah, the French war will be pretty damn easy. Are these guys stuck? Oh my god, all these guys are stuck in Corfu. <laughs> well, only for a second. Whenever uh, these guys are in the Gulf of Torino or Toronto. It doesn't look like they're, they're urgently feeling the need to leave, though. Which is interesting. Oh, you need some extra dudes over here. Here, let's send you all the cannons. Specifically. Can I go there? No. Can't reach there. Yay, Barry. There we go. Go down there. Everything is fine here. All right, that's good. We can't go there because of Paris. Training fields. Excellent. And someone left the coalition against us. I think the coalition is going to respawn pretty quick. But it's not going to be a problem. You know, we can't leave it there. Limousine has fallen. Up that way, we have full siege. Yes, we do. Keep these guys here. Multiple wars! Because we can. Still want to go after Hungary at some point. We'll have to deal with the Hungarian-Russian question soon. The Russo-Hungarian Empire. Okay, well, I think we're going to put a cut in here. Because, you know, multiple wars. How much time you got? Ah, we've got well over 50 years to pass the last uh, resolution. Which I think is going to be fine. We should be able to get our um, authority up pretty darn quick. Got a full siege bonus there. Okay, no blockades, but that's fine. Uh, you have just pawned. Are you going to get chased? Uh, but I think you'll be able to get out of the way in time, so that's good. All right, we're going to wrap this up here. Thank you very much for watching another episode of our Let's Play of Imperial Italy in EU4. Kazan's still relatively large. I'm surprised. Muslim tech group. Okay, yeah. So you have some tech. I think the, the east over here is still looking kind of crazy weird. Kind of awesome. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.